Hey, what's up everybody? This is Tyler from 10thumbspro.com, teaming up with Jelly Note again to bring you another tune, and today we're getting jazzy, alright? Originally a French tune, La Vie en Rose, or La Vie en Rose, got really popular on the ukulele with a cover from How I Met Your Mother, right? So this is a requested song, and luckily for us, it's not too hard. We're going to be introducing the G major 7, super beautiful jazzy chord, oh, so pretty. And we're going to be introducing the D7, which is also jazzy, but used in context with blues and other songs as well. So they're chords that you're going to love to have in the bag, and they sound really nice. Nothing too difficult, all right? So what do you need to learn this tune? All you need is that ukulele brain and attention span. If you have those three things in, follow me on in, and let's break this lesson down right now. All right, the best part about cool jazzy tunes is that cool jazzy tunes have cool jazzy chords. So let's take a look at some of them. We have our G, which we're familiar with by now. We're also going to introduce today a G major 7 which is just, I'm using my pointer finger to bar the C, E, and A strings, but I'm going to play the open G, and it sounds like this. We have our E minor, which we're familiar with. We're playing an A minor, um, and if you wanted to make it even a little more jazzier, we introduced the A minor 7, just all open strings which is nice, but I'll be playing the A minor, I prefer it for this song. We also have the D major, which we know, and we'll be introducing the D7. Alright, to make the D7, what you have to do is take this pointer finger, bar the second fret, kind of like our B minor chord, and take this middle finger and get it on the third fret of the A string right there. Alright, feels nice and tense, okay? Now because this is a jazz tune too, it's pretty free. I'm going to be doing a strum pattern like a mellow down, down, up, up, down. But it's a jazz tune, so you're kind of just following the melody. So you could do, you could do just downs. You could do down, down, down. It's really up to you. Um, but I think that the down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up sounds great. Okay. So the intro is going to go strum pattern over G. Strum pattern over G major 7, strum pattern over E minor, then over the A minor, we're going to go down, down, and then D down, and then D7 down. Now that D7, we're going to let it ring out a little bit, okay? Now if you listen, I'm going to be staying down, but I also let my fingers catch that upstroke a little bit, like down, up, down. Optional. Not necessary, it's up to you. Get a feel for the tune, okay? Okay, so here we go. Let's play through that. G, G major 7, E minor, A minor, D, D7, okay? Let me go to part 1. Part 1 is going to go G, G major 7, E minor, A minor, Okay, so let's play through that together. Down, 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 down. Okay, so the next part I'll go D, D7, D, G, G, D, A minor. The next part, similar to the intro, G, G major 7, E minor, and then we're actually going to need a C chord, I forgot to tell you that, we're going to need a C chord, and we're going to let the C chord pause and ring out. So that one's going to go G, G major 7, E minor, C, 2, 3, 4. Now you can also be loosey-goosey with that, you can let it ring a little longer, build some tension, that's up to you, these jazz tunes are pretty free-flowing, particularly this one too. Then the next part is going to go A minor, G, A minor, B minor. I forgot we need a B minor as well, okay? So it'll go A minor to B minor. So down two times on A minor, and then B minor, and you let that ring out. So that's going to go... And then you're going to end with a G minor, 
or G major, G major 7, and then just strumming C, A minor, D, G. And when I go into those last chords, feel how it slows down. Okay, so the very end looks like... So let's put all of them up there. Let's jump through the whole thing together. Here we go. Here's the intro. Alright, Levine Bose, however you pronounce that, okay? Hope you dig it. Alright everybody, so that was it. Now you're singing it in French, maybe in Spanish, La Vida Roche. I don't know, it's all good. Whatever language you like to sing in, just sing it and have fun. Impress with those tasty chords, alright? Tune in next Saturday, what are we going to do? Who knows, maybe we'll introduce some new chords. Maybe we'll go over some old chords. Maybe we'll look at some new action. Maybe we'll look at some new strum patterns. Maybe we'll do an easy song, intermediate, advanced. Only one way to find out. Okay, everybody, see you next Saturday. Until next time, keep on rocking, keep on rolling, keep on playing that ukulele. And remember, la vie rose. It's pretty good, all right? Take care, everybody.